We ended up getting a look at the full 40 series GPU lineup from Nvidia, which is extremely surprising given that the RTX 3090 Ti just released a little over a month ago. However, these are rumors, so do keep in mind that the information that I'm providing may end up changing in the future. According to a Twitter user that goes by the name of Copite7Kimi, the 40 series GPU lineup is going to include the RTX 4090, the RTX 4080, and the RTX 4070. They're also saying that the RTX 4080 is going to come with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, while the RTX 4070 is going to have 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. That is so hard to say. Like, try to say that. GDDR6. It's actually not that hard, but whatever. According to these newest RTX 40 series rumors, Nvidia has only begun testing the AD102 GPUs. These are going to go on to power the RTX 4090 Ti and the RTX 4090. And to everybody wondering about the 4060, it doesn't look like Nvidia is going to end up releasing a 4060, but again, this is just a rumor so that could end up changing. Copite7Kimi says that Nvidia is going to use AD103 chips in the RTX 4080 and then the AD104 chip in the RTX 4070. However, Nvidia is not currently testing either of these cards as of April 16th, 2022. The AD103 chip that's found in the RTX 4080 cards is expected to feature 64 megabytes of L2 cache and a TGP of 350 to 450 watts. The AD104 chip is supposed to offer 48 megabytes of L2 cache and a TGP of 300 watts. When it comes down to memory bandwidths, there was nothing actually mentioned about that, so we don't really know anything about that as of right now. Based off of the current RTX 40 series rumors, it does look like the cards may end up launching at some point in 2022. The markets are starting to return to normal, so that does make sense, but the chip shortage is still happening, so really only time is going to tell if that statement is actually accurate. As far as the performance boost from the 30 series lineup of GPUs, I do not think that we're going to see the 20 to 30 jump that we saw with the 20 series to the 30 series. That was an insane performance boost just because of how new ray tracing was when the 20 series of GPUs actually ended up coming out. With that said, the 40 series cards are still going to be something that any creator or gamer are going to want to take advantage to if it is something that you would like to invest into just because of the new memory inside of the graphics cards that is extremely beneficial for video editing programs and things of that nature pricing is also expected to be similar to the rtx 30 series lineup of graphics cards this could of course change before the official release but i don't really see them selling anything much more than what we are already seeing in the current market this rtx 40 series information that i provided is honestly very very exciting and I do plan on pre-ordering a couple of these myself when they are made available so that I can get some benchmarks and review them with all of you. However, there's still quite a ways to go before we have any official details on these cards, a release date, official price, etc. However, the information that I did provide to you does seem fairly accurate. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out one of these videos that are on screen, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.